Guys, I don't know if you know, but aside from this being our uh, DVD shoot, it also happens to be Tim's birthday. Could you guys please join me in the uh, song? Josh, you read it? One, two, three. Happy birthday! Have the reins with happy birthday. I didn't want to start it. Yeah. It's cool. We'll have to get some auto tune out for uh, when Josh saying happy birthday. <laughs> Dude, it's already put you in the spot. I just no, felt no, like no, I was no, not obligated. Where's my reference pitch? No, that was tasteful, plus I did it to you. So. Yeah. I waited until it was like completely over. Yeah, no, that so, was cool. I like that. I appreciate that. That was cool. After Confine, that was supposed to be it. We were out. I was like throwing out all my picks and just like, all right, later. put the house music on and kids were, were still wanting some more so Let's do it. Let's just play Elegy. And we ran over there and like Matt started packing up my guitars already. I didn't even have a pick. I was like, does anybody have a pick? I threw all of mine out. It felt really good. It really winded. It was tough figuring out what to do because the past two shows have been so like small. It had no production. I think we did alright. I got I think a side stitch right. for about three songs and I could barely move. That was the most I've ever gone on set carts and risers and everything. Yeah, me too. Dude, it was perfect if you could just go running at like an angle and go right up the set cart. It was like perfect. perfect. Yeah. Please say you caught my 10 feet of air I got off the, uh, the set cart, please. I jumped like as high as I could off of the set cart, like into the air, and then landed on the stage and it was pretty sweet. Squirrel? I think Matt got it. All those guys who have like the roadie cams have been getting some pretty carouche full footage of um, just what goes on in the in the crowd while we play. 